replace your circuit board, you will need the following tools. 3mm hex wrench, T20 torx wrench, T10 torx wrench. Step 1. Using a 3mm hex wrench, remove the 6 screws on the bottom of the drive unit. Remove the bottom cover once all of the screws have been removed. Step 2. Carefully unplug the 7 connectors from the circuit board and the 1 connector from the battery. Step 3. Using a T20 Torx wrench, remove the four screws that hold the battery pack and circuit board assembly in the housing. Once the assembly is removed, unplug the buzzer connector that wraps around the assembly. Step 4. Using a T10 Torx wrench, remove the two screws that hold the old circuit board and replace it with the new circuit board. Step 5. Carefully lower the battery pack into the housing, making sure that all the vibration dampening grommets stay on top of the screws. Hand tighten the four screws that hold the battery in place. Step 6. Start by wrapping the number 2 toggle switch connector over the top of the wires for connectors number 1, number 3, and number 4, and plug into the A slot. Step 7. Plug the number 5 battery power connector into the B slot. It is normal to see a small spark. Be sure the cable is wrapped around the side of the battery pack, and not the front. Step 8. Wrap the number 8 connector, if present, following the same path as the number 5 connector, battery power, around the side of the battery pack, and plug into the circuit board. Next, wrap the number 3 and number 4 connectors through the left hook on the top of the battery housing, over the battery wires, and plug into the circuit board. Plug the number 1 charging connector into the rightmost connector of the battery pack, wrapping it around the side of the battery pack. Step 9. Plug in the number 6 and number 7 motor connectors into the circuit board. Make sure the rubber grommet is still around the motor cable, and press the grommet slash cable firmly into the slot of the housing. Step 10. Verify that only slot 1 on the DIP switch of the circuit board is in the off slash left position. No. For the MX2 Plus model, motor calibration is no longer required. Step 11. Making sure the motor cable is in its slot. Step 9. And the grommets in place all around the perimeter. Replace the bottom cover of the drive unit and securely fasten the bottom cover to the drive unit with the six screws.